And now some fresh breakings from the political grapevine. The scientists behind the so-called Climate Gate email scandal. Climate Gate never happened. There was no scandal. Nobody has ever been able to point to even one email that had been hacked from the Climate Research Unit's email server pointing to any email that shows they did anything wrong. The America Treason Network has been unable to point to any email, not even one, that shows that the scientists at the Climate Research Unit falsified data. If the scientists at the CRU had falsified data, scientists from throughout the planet would have crucified the bastards. Three official inquiries and tens of thousands of unofficial inquiries concluded the scientists did nothing wrong. Climate gate never happened. Now admits there has been no statistically significant global warming since 1995. Yes, and every scientist you ask will say the same thing. They will admit that since 1995 there has been no statistically significant global warming. However, there has still been global warming since 1995. The question the BBC asked was cleverly selected to start at 1995 going to 2009. If the reporter had asked if there had been statistically significant global warming from 1994 to present time, 2009, Professor Jones would have said, yes. If one decrements one year for the previous 15 years from 1994 to 2008, one will see statistically significant global warming. Decrement another year, statistically significant global warming. Decrement another year, statistically significant global warming. And go back another year, statistically significant global warming. Go back 159 years. Statistically significant global warming. It is only when one very cleverly picks a time frame starting from 1995 to 2009 that statistical significance drops off. Global warming still happened in that time period. The time is 44 minutes after 3 in the morning here in northern New Mexico. For the past seven hours, there has been no statistically significant increase in illumination. Fox, quote, news, unquote, would therefore have us believe that people who say that there is sunlight are not only wrong, but hysterical. Professor Phil Jones also tells the BBC that scientists are unsure whether the medieval warm period was actually warmer than current temperatures. The medieval warm period has absolutely nothing at all to do with the current global temperature anomaly. For one thing, the medieval warm period was regional, mostly occurring in the northern Atlantic. For another thing, scientists know the mechanism behind the medieval warm period. Solar forcing. The sun's output was greater in that period than at other periods. We know this by doing ice core drilling and measuring carbon-14. Solar radiation strikes Earth's atmosphere, hits nitrogen and oxygen atoms, producing, among other things, carbon-14. There was a greater increase in carbon-14, therefore greater output of the sun. None of that is happening currently. As a matter of fact, the sun's output at the moment is at its lower p, uh, lower trough, I guess you would say. Not happening. Mechanism totally different currently than in the past. Some skeptics say that is the first time a senior scientist working with the UN report on climate change has admitted the possibility that the time between 800 and 1300 AD could have actually been warmer than present temperatures. Admitted? Anybody who wants to can read all about the mid medieval warm period. It's all over the internet. Look it up if you want to. Every scientist that works with climatology and paleoclimatology knows about the medieval warm period. It's not a secret. It's not something people have to admit to. Totally 
not hidden. Even Fox Quote News could look it up if they wanted to. Of course they don't want to. Admitted? That would be a blow to global warming believers. Global warming believers. This client actually said global warming believers. You know, it doesn't take a hell of a lot of belief to look at a thermometer and record the temperature that it is showing. It doesn't take any belief at all for the satellites in orbit that are measuring the Earth's temperature to do so accurately. Global warming believers? As for the medieval warm period, says nothing at all about the current global warming anomaly. Two totally different mechanisms, as I previously mentioned. To reiterate, there was no climate gate. There was no scandal. All of the scientists were exonerated, and the defamation, libel, and slander against them was found to be without merit. At no time did Dr. Jones say that global warming has stopped, not since 1995, not since ever. And finally, the mechanisms behind the medieval warming period and the current temperature anomaly are totally different. Medieval warming period was due to solar forcing. The current global temperature anomaly is due to carbon dioxide produced by human beings. Two totally different things. Uh, wait a minute. There's something shining brightly in the sky. Stop it! Stop it, I say! There is no such thing as sunlight! Stop it!